The following is a presentation of TFNN. Trade what you see with Larry Pesavento. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, Larry Pesavento. Okay, looking good. Billy Ray, feeling good. We're going to start out here with the Russell today because the rule says if you're going to sell something, sell the weakest. If you'll notice from the high that we made early in the morning here in the Russell down to the low, you'll see that we went right up to that uh, beautiful 382 retracement right here. You can also see there's an ABCD pattern coming in here. We had a smaller 382 right here. But this is you know, only lasted for half an hour. This one was the same thing. This one was the same thing. It just keeps repeating and, and repeating. And it did the same thing. Uh, I believe I saved that on the uh, – yes, I did. Hold on here. Let's get up here. Here's what it did with the uh, uh, E-mini. There was a high earlier this morning. There was the first 382, second 382, third 382, the fourth one. And then what happened? We came down. And we always mention, you know, that uh, if you see the 382, the second thing you want to look for is the first ABCD in the bear market. That came in here at 51. Holy round, there it is at uh, 30, uh, 45.51. I believe the high was uh, 45.54, almost at the 50%. I don't know where it's trading at now, but uh, that's where it was at the time. But let's get back here to a couple of these other things that I want to talk about. That's pretty much what I wanted to cover with the Russell, the fact that it has been so incredibly bearish, folks. Look at this thing. I mean, this thing can only make a 382 with most spectacular. Do you realize that we ran uh, the, the the market? regular markets are up 10, 12, 15 percent in some of these things uh, in just a matter since that uh, solar eclipse down, lunar eclipse down here on the 28th of October? So it's very, very unusual. Uh, this is a perfect example if you want to sell the weakest and buy the strongest. And of course, the strongest is the NVIDIA, and it's going to be having its, uh, what it's called, its uh, powers, <laughs> its uh, uh, earnings. Earnings is coming out today. Okay, now let's talk about something that Rich Anderson always loves to talk about, and that is Dr. Copper. Here is Copper. I want to show it to you. This is on a smaller time frame, of course. You're going to see it right here. But what we're going to do now is we're going to switch over to the daily because this is a really interesting one. Here is copper going back since uh, January of last year. And I want you to see the high back there was at 435 uh, per ounce. <laughs> Maybe someday it'll be 435 per ounce, but it's 435 a pound. Folks, I had something incredibly unusual happen to me last night. <laughs> I went to bed my usual time at 10 o'clock. I usually get up around 3 or 4. I usually sleep 5 or 6 hours, take a couple naps during the day, okay? I woke up at 9 o'clock, my time. That's 11 o'clock New York time. I mean, I never sleep 11 hours, but I did, and I don't know why. Anyway, look what's happened to copper here, folks. You see this high here yesterday and today, that 383. Look at that, folks. That's the 382 of the high way back here. I don't know if this means anything or not, but look at that. That is just spot on. And you've got a perfect A, B, C, D coming in here on copper. So what I did is I came down today and I put up the eight-minute chart and I wanted to see what copper was doing. And then I could see it, you know, from the yesterday. There was the uh, this, this was the early morning high on Tuesday. That was today. There's a perfect A, B, C, D pattern right here. Those of you that like A, B, C, D, and we certainly do, there's A, B, C, D there. Okay. We have another A, B, C, D pattern coming in. Ah, shut the front door and raise the rent. There's your A leg. It just doesn't quite catch the right way because it's so sensitive because it's live. It's not Memorex. Anyway, that's what we're watching here right now. We're trading now, we've had some lower tops in here, but this could be really, really important, so we need to know 
what's going to happen. We close below this, it would certainly be uh, very, very important, especially uh, to me because I sold it up here. Anyway, let's move over here and take a look here at a couple other things that we want to be watching. Oh, one of the things I do want to look at is I want to look at the weekly chart here on copper so you can see it even clearer because when you see it this clearly, folks, it's very, very apparent that we are in a bear market in copper. No question about it. Now, what we said was this pattern right here is a 382 retracement of this high right here. Bada bing, bada boom, bada bing, bam, boom. There it is right there, 83, spot on 83. That's where it is right there. It's probably 61% of that one right here. Let's just double check it just for kicks and giggles and see what that is from this high down to this low it comes in <laughs> at the 61 percent retracement boy that's double-edged sword folks pay close attention to the copper it's going to be really interesting here as we look at some of these things here uh this morning okay that covers two of those okay uh let me move this out of the way here uh, get this out of the way. Hold on a second. I got so many things that people have asked me about that I'm going to try to cover them one at a time because of the holidays. And tomorrow I'm going to have a special thing for the folks that are going to be here the day before. We're going to go over all the foreign currencies. It's all six cross rates and the dollar index and the gold and silver. And we're going to see where we are in the context of real money to see what's going on. Now, here is here is Amazon. This is Amazon that we're looking at it as of today. And someone asked me a question, if there was a three drive to a top here in Amazon. So the, the only way I can look at that, folks, because I don't trade stocks, I'm going to delete everything, okay? Just delete it all, and then I'm going to look at it from a fresh face. Ah, there's a face. Now, I see three drives. There's three drives here for sure. There's drive one, there's drive two, there's drive three. That's very symmetrical. You can see there's... Well, you can just draw them in. You'll be able to see them. Look at this. is just incredible. A, B, C, D, A, B, C, D. You can draw them in any way you want to look at them, but that's what that's going to be. It's going to be a, that is a three-drive pattern. Not as symmetrical as you'd like to see. This is not, folks. This pattern is a very unusual pattern that only, hardly very few people know. Uh, Jerry Favors uh, did it with uh, George Lindsay. Uh, did it. It was called Three Peaks in a Domed House. So there's peak one, there's peak two, there's peak three, and there is the domed house right here. Very unusual pattern. I don't see anything tradable about this myself uh, because this has just been a straight up move. And, uh, you know, it's a rare pattern. I stick with, you know, A, B, C, D's got me to where I am, folks. Some day it's down the store. Some days it's, uh, you know, you're doing okay. But anyway, that's what we're that's what we're trying to do here to show you some of these different patterns that are out here. But there is no three drive to a pattern that I can see in Amazon. If I take a look at the weekly, we might see something different. And there it is here on the weekly. This is where they split the stock down here. So this is pre-split. So I really can't. I can't because I don't have the capability of uh, doing the weekly without changing a whole bunch of stuff, which I'm not going to do. So let's move on to something that I might know, and that is we'll move on to another one of these uh, commodities that we want to look at. And the next one we're going to look at is the wheat market. So first thing we're going to do here is to come up and bring in the wheat here on the uh, daily basis here. And uh, if you'll notice here, we had this pattern coming in here on December. We had to switch to March. And the reason why is because we had to have the A, B, C, D complete on the March, whereas the December was way down here. So this has moved actually pretty good. It's moved Steve Rhodes cents. started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019. Finishing at number two for the year, an amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn. And he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters 
letters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 Days Risk-Free today. TFNN, educating investors. Are you ready to take your trading to the next level? Introducing Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, your key to successful active trading. Tom O'Brien, renowned for his expertise in the financial markets, has designed Market Insights to be your daily guide to profitable trades. Tom publishes his daily Market Insights newsletter every market day before the market open, along with updates when warranted. Stay ahead of the game with Tom's real-time analysis and trade recommendations delivered straight to your inbox. Whether you're a seasoned trader or just starting out, Market Insights provides the edge you need to navigate the markets with confidence. Ready to join the ranks of successful traders? Head over to TFNN.com and subscribe to Market Insights today. Don't miss out on this opportunity to supercharge your trading results. Market Insights comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee for all new subscribers, so you have nothing to risk. Don't miss out on this opportunity to revolutionize your trading game. Head over to TFNN.com right now to join the thousands of traders who have already experienced the power of Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, firsthand. TFNN, educating investors. Currencies, commodities, and bond markets are as important as ever right now with how they're driving the volatility in equity markets across the globe, which is why it's a great time to try out Teddy Kegstat's Tiger Forex report. Teddy Kegstat breaks down the Forex markets every Monday using his 30-plus years of experience as a trading veteran of futures, Forex, stocks, and options. Teddy releases his weekly Tiger Forex report every Monday morning with coverage of all the major currency pairs, including the dollar index, the euro dollar, pound dollar, dollar Swiss, dollar yen as well as many more and he also has weekly coverage of the crude oil market and the 30-year t-bonds as they both influence forex markets tremendously when you sign up for the tiger forex report you also gain instant access to teddy's 60-minute webinar archive he just hosted forex strategies and fundamentals what is behind the tiger forex report for all the details and to start your 30-day tiger forex report subscription today visit the front page of tfnn.com tfnn educating investors Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Okay, folks, uh, this is the December week that we were looking at last week. The problem is we got December is going to come into delivery pretty soon, so we had to switch over to March. You can see here the move that we're having today uh, in the December is pretty good. It's jumped about uh, 15 cents, which is pretty good. The, uh, the other week, the March, has also moved uh, pretty good, so that's what we're looking at. That we've had a, Your risk here now is you're risk-free on this, so don't uh, – don't even try to get cute with it. So keep your stop working. We were able to buy it relatively well, and it's acting uh, okay. That's the main thing that we want to keep a close eye on. By the way, folks, uh, tomorrow is the anniversary of President Kennedy getting killed on November the 22nd, 1963. I was in Chicago. I just started medical school at uh, North at Stritch, University of Chicago Stritch School of Medicine. I only lasted six weeks because I absolutely hated it. But I was living with my grandfather on the south side of Chicago, which is a war zone now, down to 115th in St. Lawrence. And uh, uh, on that Sunday morning, I believe, is when they were transferring Jack Ruby from one jail to the next, or not Jack Ruby, Lee Harvey Oswald. And uh, my grandfather was having breakfast with me, and he said in Italian to me, he said, I hope it ail more days and I killed that SOB. <laughs> and I, I don't mean to laugh about anybody dying, but not more than, I'm not kidding you, 30 seconds had passed, then uh, Jack Ruby came out and shot the uh, uh, Lee Harvey Oswald, and my grandfather didn't even bat an eye. He said, ah, he said, in Italy, he said, this had to happen two days earlier. So, I mean, I, I remember that. I think everybody my age that's been around knows where they were when President Kennedy was assassinated. I don't think there's any, any question about that. So that's enough history, folks. Let's move on here and get a couple other things that we want to see happening. Uh, I have a couple questions here about the Hang Seng Index. This is uh, from our good friends in Hong Kong, and a family's on their way over for Thanksgiving over there to enjoy the holidays. This has been in a bear market for a long time, folks. It's still bearish, but we've made a bottom just like we did here in October. We've had a rally, the smaller ABCDs. It's much weaker than ours, as you can see. As you know, ours have jumped all the way up here with the exception of the Russell. But if you look at the Hang Seng, 
from there down to this level, you see the rally has come almost exactly to the, and there it is. There's the exact uh, 382 rally on the Hang Seng occurred here uh, on the uh, 17th, four days ago. And of course, it backed off a little bit. It's back in this area right here. If we can get above here, uh, this market could have some pretty good legs. But right now, that's what we're seeing here uh, in the Hang Seng. Look at these 382s all through here, folks. These are just, just truly amazing. From your low to your high, 382, make a slightly higher high. That's nothing more than a Gartley. Look, that's A, B, C, D. I have never traded this. I've been at the exchange before, but uh, never put. Uh, oh, you know, that's not true. I bought Alibaba when it first came out. Oh, my God, that was oh, oh seven. Yeah, oh seven, I believe, when it came out. And I, I held it for a total of three days. But anyway, that's uh, mainly because Sarah wanted the stock. But anyway, that's that's the Hong Kong index. Now, the next one that we want to talk is you got to go across the, the bay there, the Sea of, of uh, South China Sea, Larry. Try it again. And we're going to take a look at the uh, Chinese stock market. This is the FXI for it. Let's get up here, and we'll move it over here to this level right here. And there's where we are. Same thing. You see these are very, very similar. Uh, now, this the the ABCD that I have here is no longer in effect, folks. Let me tell you why. Because you made a higher high here and a lower high here. So your ABCD on this has got to be changed to looking just like this right here. Okay. And if you look at this closely, and we usually do here at TFNN, we're going to take the high right here. There's your A leg. B leg, C leg, D leg, it's just 61% retracement. That's what they call a Gartley, folks. And here's where we're headed down towards this level. And we do have some other patterns here to ver Ah, that's the fact that I'm live and not Memorex. Hopefully, this will do it. There's A, B, C, D. See how we're heading down into this zone right here? And that's where we're headed down there, that zone right here. We're going to get down into this level here, around 23, about another 10% lower. You've got to pay attention to that Chinese market because if it gets below here, President Xi Jinping is going to have a little bit of trouble controlling his economy. But right now, it's it's hanging in there okay. One more move down, and it'll be okay. Look at the high here, folks. You, you, you've got to respect these numbers. I mean, give me a break. Look at that. There is your... 382 retracement right there. So got to love it. Only in America can you see numbers like this, boys and girls. Only in America. All right, let's move over here and get this out of the way and move over to move over right here. And let's get oh, talking here about the uh, gold market. Uh, what should we do next? Oh, let's talk about the British pound. Okay, the British pound. We are getting close up to something pretty good, folks. This is the this is the actual futures. Okay, now I'm just going to go down and we're going to go down to the daily because you're going to see a really nice ABCD coming in. Look how close we came today, folks. The number we were looking at was 12570, and the number that came in was 12561. It missed it by nine pips, and now it's $300 under that. So. I had my order <laughs> at six pips, so I didn't get filled either. But anyway, that's uh, that's that's the ABCD here. It is completed. So now what you've got to do is you've got to go down to a smaller time frame. And believe me, folks, I am not going to do. I am done for. Uh, well, what I, I'm, I'm done trading until tomorrow. <laughs> that's not true. Okay, here's. Wow, how did that happen? Let me set my, reset my defaults here. There we go. This is what it's done today, intraday, is what we've had happen. But see, this is where the order was to go short, was right here at 25.69. We got up to 25.61. So 69 was uh, right there, missed it by about seven pips. It might still get there tomorrow, but this is a really important one because this is a daily ABCD. And if you look at this on the weekly, we got to take a break. Why is my uh, beeper telling me we don't have a break here going off here. Oh, you know what? Because I go till six, I got another minute and a half. Okay, there's the weekly. I got to change these darn things. Hold on. Ah, I got to reset the defaults. That's uh, part of the practice. Here's where we are right now. See, 
There's that almost the same number right there, but we're, we're looking at that number as a 382 off of this puppy right here, too. If you'll see there, it's gone above it a little bit, but the ABCD measures just a little bit higher up in here. So keep a close eye on that, folks. We've been rallying for five or six weeks very mildly here in the British pounds, and this is getting ready for a short. That's the way I look at it from the cheap seats here in Tucson, Arizona, where it happens to be raining this morning. Beautiful flowers are going to start to bloom, but guess where my allergies will be fighting outside, of course. Let's take a break here. I believe it's almost time for the break time. Nope, we got 30 seconds. If you have any questions, 877-927-6648. I'll be happy to answer them. Stay tuned, folks. We're going to be talking about uh, live cattle, live hogs, and believe it or not, Tesla. Everybody seems to love that stock. So we'll be right back. Live every day in an attitude of gratitude and may God bless. And stay with us, folks, because we got some good stuff coming up, I hope. The Gold Report. As a precious metal, gold is still king. It continues to hold the most effective safe haven and hedging properties across the global major trading hubs of the London OTC market, the U.S. futures market, and the Shanghai Gold Exchange. The Gold Report. Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly gold report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, the South African Rand, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. The Gold Report. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Subscribe to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report newsletter now at TFNN.com. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. TFNN has just launched their new trading room, The Tiger's Den. Hosted at Discord, TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. And now they are expanding their reach with The Tiger's Den. Available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. In The Tiger's Den, you can look over the shoulders of Tom O'Brien and the other TFNN hosts while they analyze charts during their live Tiger TV programs and join an interactive trading community with hundreds of members exchanging ideas. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day, even at night and on the weekends. The Tigers Den at Discord is accessible on mobile or tablets as well, so it's always at your reach. To sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders, just visit the front page of TFM. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Okay, folks, I put the chart of the, the E mini SP up here because, you know, we went up through the roof again. We went from 45.24 to 45.71 yesterday, rallied 70 handles. Folks, I've been trading this stuff for a long time for TFNN, started in uh, 07 
in 09, March of 09, I, this is where we were, 666 in the Dow Jones. Uh, and uh, excuse me, the S&P was down here. And I was so bullish, I said, this is going to be the strongest rally since 1938. And it is still rallying. But anyway, I, I really screwed this one up. I mean, I was really bullish here. I waited for a 382 retracement that never came, this whole thing. And uh, there were places to buy it on breakouts, which I never did. And I believe me, I have paid the price emotionally for it. And when I, when I said yesterday, we've taken out the high of September, and that's probably, uh, you know, that's going to be the end of the, any, any chance you can possibly sell. And I said, I said in the, I, I believe I said it in the, uh, uh, the video, I said, watch for a 382 retracement. <laughs> and that's exactly what we had three times today and the fourth time, which just happened here at uh, 45 of uh, 51. Anyway, let's move back to, you know, where we were, just get back here. And they would not have to worry too much about this to get it out of the way. Let's take a quick look here. We had several questions about hogs. I have about as much interest in hogs. I trade them about four times a year, and we're not even close to that now. But this is uh, the December contract. You'll notice that we made a nice ABCD bottom down in this area. There again, right near the eclipse. That, that solar eclipse uh, marked a bottom for a whole lot of things. But, of course, this did not rally very much. You see how the hogs just rallied uh, for about 10 days, they stopped right here, 61% off of this. Why didn't I see this, for God's sake? Oh, dear, I see something else, too. Boy, I missed this one, too. Wow, that's a big move, six cents in hogs. Uh, Mr. O'Brien's going to take my chart pencil away from me. Let's see if we made a 382 off of the big high right back here. Uh, yeah, we did. There's a 382 off the big high right there at 73, and it's trading at 68. Turn your chart pencil in Pesavento you don't deserve this one that's uh get a rally here sell it because this thing's getting ready to probably do a flying Walinda down here maybe we're going to have some cheap uh, ham and uh bacon after the holidays because there's a possibility we can see something like this in hogs that we could get down to this level here anything near 50 well 50 is the cost of production on hogs I don't think we're going to get to that level but if we do get down to this level that's where you got to look to be by. That's down about seven cents. So uh, I've got to put the beeper in here to remind myself if we do get down in that zone. It will not be uh, December hogs, folks. You're going to have to go into February. Let's just do that since we're doing this right now between boys and girls. There's uh, where's a H E H E H H H. So we got to switch this over. And I need to switch this to February hogs. So I just move this over like this. And put in G, and February will be 4. And let's see if the chart looks anywhere similar to it. A lot of times they don't. It They do. So uh, let me see. These are trading at a premium. You see 72. These are 68. So you'll be watching February hogs. Let's just get the number up here since we're doing this among friends. And uh, there's where all oh, these things have been going down forever, for God's sakes. Ah, good. There, I just got my profit in the S&P. Hold on one second here. Let's move on. Uh, someone said the Federal Reserve is out here uh, today. Is that correct? I didn't know if they are or not. Let's see how much. Uh, I don't Let's see what's going on here. Okay. All right. This is the December hogs. Let's get this out of the way. And now we're going to take a look at the February hogs. Okay. We're going to get these over here like this. And here's where we are. That means we're getting ready to come down. Let's see if this was a 382 off of this high. It's a hogs trade just like anything else, folks. So it's the same thing. So we could be looking very easily at the price of February hogs getting down into this zone right here. And that would be a good buy right down here. A friendly hello and a good buy right here at around 65 cents, down about another 7 cents. We want to be watching February hogs for a potential buy. Now, let's get off the beaten path here and take a look here at the uh, – hold on. Let me get this up here so we can see the uh, – hold on. i got to get these darn things moving around so I can see where in the hell we are. Hold on. I'll do the bonds next. Oh, I love these bonds. Okay. Well, you know, you guys have about as much interest in cattle as you do hogs. So here are the cattle. These are, these are February cattle. This is the daily. These have been going down for quite a while. We had the big ABCD up here. We alerted you. to. We did this trade. I know that for a fact. That was right there. Okay. 
there was a first 382, just draw it in so you can see it, because when these bear market starts, they're all alike. There's your 382, well, it's almost 50%. This one, this, this one took two days, three days. This took seven, so that'll be a bigger move, and it'll probably be spot on 382, and there it is right there. Look at that. Sell it at 186. That's that's a that's 3,000 bucks, folks. And look at look what it did here just recently. Here we had another four-day rally here, and why am I not trading cattle more? Another one right here. I think I stopped trading the S&P and start trading cattle. There's your 382 right here, right on the money, honey. So you got a whole bunch of them in there. So we're going to have a bottle bottom coming in here, in the moo cows here in about. Another 10 cents, 11 cents down. That's going to be a big one because that's going to be a larger. Wow, we got to start trading cattle, Larry. What are you kidding me? I used to trade these all the time just to stay out of the S&P pit because it was so smelly over there. Hold on. There's your AB. The cattle guys were a little bit more, uh, what do you call, modern. Or Okay, there's a number. 166, 10 cents lower in the cows. Got to watch that. So I got to put that beeper in to remind myself where we are here uh, with the moo cows. All right, let's get over to the old bondolis because we were talking about those yesterday. Hold on a second here if I can. Oh, dear me. Okay, there was a number. Uh, get the daily up there, you bozo. <clears throat> there was a number we were looking at right there at 06. We got as high as uh, 14, and now we're trading a full handle under that. And uh, if you put your stop in a little too close, that's my fault, not yours. But anyway, that's what you're looking at. You had a, several chances this morning to get in those because if you looked at it, you know, real early this morning, if you were up early, you'll see there's your first 382 retracement. Your second retracement came in right here, but that was at the 61% uh, retracement, and then we've started to roll over. But that just tells us that this number that we were looking at on this daily was a pretty good number. That's uh, that's the bottom line that we were looking for. Remember, we, we did those three drives. Well, the four hour will certainly tell us that. Boy, where does the time go? Yeah, there it was. See, there was a chance we could get to 117.05, but before we did that, we had to clean above this 116.20 level, which you never did. Uh, old 07 was a place to sell it, and uh, Ah, son of a gun, it went to 14, and now it's coming down a little bit. But that's what you want to be watching, folks. These patterns don't work all the time, but they do work some of the time, and that's the beauty of how they work. So I think we've got to take a little break here. If the old bell in the wall is telling us, we'll be right back, 877-927-6648. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Are you ready to take your trading to the next level? Introducing Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, your key to successful active trading. Tom O'Brien, renowned for his expertise in the financial markets, has designed Market Insights to be your daily guide to profitable trades. Tom publishes his daily Market Insights newsletter every market day before the market open, along with updates when warranted. Stay ahead of the game with Tom's real-time analysis and trade recommendations delivered straight to your inbox. Whether you're a seasoned trader or just starting out, Market Insights provides the edge you need to navigate the markets with confidence. 
Ready to join the ranks of successful traders? Head over to TFNN.com and subscribe to Market Insights today. Don't miss out on this opportunity to supercharge your trading results. Market Insights comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee for all new subscribers, so you have nothing to risk. Don't miss out on this opportunity to revolutionize your trading game. Head over to TFNN.com right now to join the thousands of traders who have already experienced the power of Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, firsthand. TFNN, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. See, uh, just one second here, uh, folks. Uh, I've been asked to take a look at a uh, uh, chart called Zoom. Know nothing about it other than how to spell it. <laughs> okay, let's take a look at this uh, uh, Zoom daily. I hope that's the right symbol. Well, I don't get much data here, so refresh today. If this doesn't work, I'm going to move on to something else. I'm not going to waste any time. Uh, evidently, I got the wrong symbol. Anyway, I don't know anything about it, so can't talk about it. You know what? I'm not going to lose any sleep on it either. Hold on one second. Someone is ringing the bell here, and we have a ZM. Someone's telling me, thank you very much. Now, why wouldn't they call it Zoom, for heaven's sakes? You'd think that's what they would do. Let's just get it to ZM. ZM is Zoom. Okay, it's a Alrighty. Oh my goodness. Sixty-five dollars. Let's see how it's been doing here. Well, let's take a look. It's been coming down here. Let's let's put the weekly up just to see where we are. And, oh, shut the front door. What happened here, boys and girls? The 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 party left the station. Well, all right. This is a weekly chart. Let, let's say you don't know anything about this stock. Yes, Johnny. I'm raising my hand. Okay, now this is Zoom. Now, what I talk about here from Gartley and all these other dudes that I've dealt with all these years, when you got this was like wheat, okay? Wheat went to 13, now it's at six or five, when it's five. Okay, but look at this. You see, we have, when you have lower tops in here like that, folks, this is a weekly chart. That means you have a downtrend. You have lower tops and lower bottoms. Now, you have a really good buy right here in Zoom. Why? Because you have drive one, drive two, and drive three. We're going to draw it in so you'll be able to see it. There's your three drive to a bottom pattern. And it comes in really nicely at 272. And you get to rally 130 points to 408. Okay? Now, at this level here, you're probably risking about 30 bucks, 1%. Okay? Now you're up at this level, you've made a lot of money, but what do you do? How many days you've been weeks you've been rallying? About 10 to 12 weeks. Well, if you believe in these numbers that we talk about here, if you go from your high way back here, look what is right there bouncing off of you. Two weeks in a, uh, it happened in uh, June, and it happened again in August. 382 retracement, and then down you came really badly. Now you get another little retracement right here. I can't even believe it. I don't even know if I can draw this up because it's so big. Let's just get it down here. One, oh, come on. Gosh, guys. There we go. Get it right here. We're going to see if with the 382 off of this weekly doesn't even come close. And then the rest of these you can see 
its history on the way down. This stock is headed for some lower price. What, I don't know. Uh, I guess the earnings today, we're, let's just look at it on a real short-term basis where we are right here. We just had another three-drive pattern right here. There it is right there. I mean, this is a tradable thing. My goodness. I mean, you know, there's your drive one right here, drive two, drive three. And what you do, you rally up. You make a really nice Gartley off the last high. A, B, C, D. I mean, this is, follows the numbers pretty nicely. There it is. I'll draw it up there. There it is right there. And now we're coming back. And this is probably going to be a 382 again. Let's just double check from the last high we had back here. Let's just see if it's a 382. 382 is all it can do. So Zoom is looks like it's out of gas, as they say in the trade. So I'd be really suspect looking for $400 on this puppy again. But God only knows, and she doesn't trade all the time. Okay, so let's remind ourselves of that. Very, very important. All right, let's move over to the old gold market now. I, we got the stock markets popping up here a little bit. We're coming back up above the, uh, the, the there, the, there we came down here. There was your 3A2, made 50%. Now you've come down, and you're going to get ready to make another A, B, C, D here, the old stop and P. Hold on. That's what we used to call it down there at the old commodity place there on 114 West Jackson Boulevard, 60606 Chicago, Illinois. There's your AB leg right here. Right at the old 618, I'll bet you. And 5859, should get right up to here, but no higher than that. That's what I would be watching here uh, this morning as we look at some of these things here uh, unfold. All right? Now, tomorrow what we're going to be doing is – we'll do, we'll do gold next. Uh, tomorrow what we're going to be doing is we're going to be uh, looking at – we have to look at crude oil too. We, uh, we're going to be looking at the foreign exchange markets. I'm going to look at about uh, the six major uh, cross rates and then re relate that to gold, silver, and then bring in platinum and copper and some other things. And also if you have any questions, I write them down and we'll add those to it so we'll have something to – do keep our uh, busy for an hour. Here is the gold market. Now, this is just a three-minute chart, so let's get up here to a 13-minute chart so we can see it a little better. Here's what we've been looking at today. Uh, we came down yesterday. This is the perfect, or if you remember, we, we set videos and everything out on that. There was your 382 retracement. This was your ABCD pattern coming in exactly where it was supposed to be. There, you can see it right there at 67. The low was 67.70. And look what happened. We had this big run up. Looks like it made a 1.27 of that move right up here. Oh, went above it. So we didn't quite make the ABCD here, folks. This still has legs because, look, there's the, there's the early morning this morning, and you'll see that was a 382 off of this within a heartbeat, and I mean a heartbeat half a dollar okay and then boom away it went and we should have gotten up here which we should because all we've done now is we've got this little bit of a pullback and that's not going to be any more than what we've done right here and what has that done taking you right to the 382 again just as we're setting now we start getting below 2000 that's going to tell us we're probably going to come down into this area one more time which will be nothing more than the 382 of this whole range for the day and that would take you here to 93. In other words, down about another $7, you're going to run into the 382 of the whole daily range from Monday. And then you get below that, then you're going to have a potential trend change in, in uh, uh, gold. And I, I don't see that happening right now. Maybe down the road, but not right now. That's the way we're uh, watching it here from the cheap seats here. But they're not so cheap anymore here in Tucson. It's a really nice little place. By the way, folks, we have Western Week here in Tucson today, uh, all this week, and I should have worn my, I will, I want to wear my 10-gallon hat tomorrow because I, I wear it when I play in the poker tournament every Christmas, which will be coming up pretty soon. And that will be a lot of fun, but I'll try to remember to wear my, I've got a real beaver cowboy hat someone uh, bought for me many, many years ago. These are the real expensive ones, and uh, I wear it twice a year. <laughs> Halloween and uh, also for uh, Western days if we go anywhere. But uh, anyway, that's what we're paying attention to, folks. we got to pay a few bills here, I think, in about 40 seconds. So if you have any questions, uh, don't hold them, hold them till tomorrow, so we'll have a better chance to uh, see what's going on with some of these other markets, and we'll 
have a lot of fun tomorrow also. So that's what we'll be doing. Anyway, I've been doing this for a long time, folks, since 2007. Can you believe that's 17 years? And golly, I love it. And I'll tell you, it keeps me young because it makes my mind work. But at my age, it's not easy to get it to work all the time. My kicker that I have is I got to remember the movie stars and the movies that they went in. I can remember numbers, but I got to remember faces and times. Say, hey, we'll take a break. 877-927-6648. Billy Ray. If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at tfnn.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com, educating investors. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Okay, folks, this is crude oil. Just go back for review here from July. We made these lows back in here. We recently made the 78% level here at 73 bucks. We've rallied $4, uh, actually $5 a barrel here this week, the last three days. This is the important part here, folks. You notice how this ABCD pattern goes to this level right here, and it continues to go, see, stays there for like a day or two, and then starts going higher. You can almost assume that the CD leg is going to be 1.618. In other words, there's your AB leg. Your CD leg is going to be one. Uh, get this out of the way here so we don't need to see it. Your CD leg is going to be, there's your AB leg is where it should be, but your CD leg takes it up to this level right here. That's 1.618. That's why that is the, the level in the sand, folks. Perfectly right there at the high, 94.55. The high was 94.73, 20 cents above it. Then we came down and we made a beautiful Gartley pattern right here. 
So the $64 question is, we got a war going on in uh, Ukraine, we got a war or a conflict, whatever they call it, it's a war in the Middle East, so how much is it going to rally here? We've had two really strong days with virtually no back, back off. Let's just get the hourly up so you'll see virtually no, there's the two strong days right here. No back off at all, not even a minimal 382 uh, in here at all. You see that comes in down here. Watch this at 75. Get down about a buck and a half a barrel here. Uh, watch this really closely because that's going to be a really uh, a key one to watch here. Oh, we got to pay a few bills and get out of Dodge, and we'll see you on the flip side tomorrow. And remember, the day before Thanksgiving is a the day after Thanksgiving is the most positive day of the stock market. And if it's not, that means something, too. So we'll see you on the flip side tomorrow, folks. Live every day in an attitude of gratitude. And may God bless.